Hello, today we are in Port Gibson, Mississippi, and we are walking around shooting some film with the Mimiya RZ67 and also a little bit of Leica action as well. Uh, follow along. Grass ain't no shade green, it's just a little detour from the place we set out for when we left. You go with the shotgun? Yeah. Do you ever, do you ever have issues with it, um, like feeding back? Like, ah, ah, ah. I want to give a shout out to Nathan Rees, who actually sent me this camera for free uh, to use for a few weeks. And uh, make sure you check out his work and follow him. Thank you, Nathan, uh, for letting me borrow this camera. Uh, I literally just posted on the Instagram looking for an RZ. And within like a, a day or so, he was like, hey, you still looking for an RZ? And uh, sent me one. So I'm really appreciative of that. Thank you for, for doing that. So we're in Port Gibson, Mississippi. And uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, quiet and lonely around here. So. We're gonna shoot a little bit and kind of capitalize on it being empty. So let's do it. The church last Easter, singing hallelujah preacher. I know just what I ought to do. I'm gonna count my blessings. So I haven't shot with the uh, a viewfinder like this in a really long time. It reminds me of my Hasselblad days. So for the, uh, anybody interested, this is the 110, uh, 2.8 lens. The body on this camera is just immaculate. I've never seen one this clean. Uh, the one, I've owned one of these in the past and it just was nowhere near, nowhere near as clean as this one. And I'm, it feels really immaculate to even use it. For those who don't know, something about this camera um, with the other RB67, for example, if you're taking a vertical shot, since it's a six by seven, you turn the back. So that's another added, you know, benefit to feeling every step to the camera. If I take a vertical shot, the viewfinder changes and I expose differently. That just makes me really happy. It's like a Whereas like the Pentax is like a, it's like slaps. Yeah, it has a slap. This one, this one's more of like a, the sound of air releasing out of a whoopee cushion. It's like I never dropped out of school. I'm gonna give. Forgiveness like I got nothing left to lose. And if Jesus returns soon, his cherry. I love that noise. I'm gonna overexpose this a little bit. First roll. Blazing, I will do my best to follow him to you. I think we may be. Overexpose this a little bit. So like up here, she's some of these churches. On the wrong side of 24, we ain't growing like the weeds grow. We just get something else I really want to start doing is shooting some larger format because it's something that I'm tempted to be scared of. I really want to shoot some large format to get better at this at this craft. 110 is like, I don't know, like 50-ish. Like, like it's really good for this kind of stuff, but when you're shooting like, you know, outdoorsy kind of things, it's nice to have like a wider. So maybe, maybe like a 75 millimeter would have been really nice to have with this. Let's go to the next street where those churches are. Look at that finger. Can you guys see the finger way up there?
So something about this uh, camera that you might want to know is that um, the shutter speed only goes to 400. And so if you're looking to go outside with like f2.8 uh, in the middle of the day like this, you're not gonna be able to really do that. However, with it being a 110, you're gonna get the compression uh, that, you know, a shallower depth of field would give you anyway. And you have the bellows system, uh, which lets you get really close to your subject. So the closer to the subject you are, the more compression you're gonna have. And so um, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but just something to know that if you need you know, a thousand shutter speed for something that you're not gonna find it in this camera in particular. But this camera has so many pros. As the kids these days would say. So I'm gonna count my blessings. I never dropped out of school. I'm gonna give forgiveness like I got nothing left to lose. And if Jesus returns soon. Do one more vertical. I'm shooting at f4, trying to keep things in focus, but I still want some nice blur, uh, like as far as like the things that are in the foreground. I hope I don't regret doing that. Let's just take a moment. Let's just observe this house. I love that house. I will do my best to follow. I feel my heart struggling to beat after that McDonald's meal. Let's see what this smoke's about. Bernheimer, Bernheim. We know what Bernheim is. Ugh. One of uh, my favorite things of video we ever did, us doing that that uh, Porsche 400, Fuji 400 uh, comparison. Mm -hmm. And like in the middle of the video, you just freaking do this crazy sneeze. And like I literally <laughs> got mad at you, like annoyed. What we say is always easy when it's just what we aim to do. But I guarantee if it's just left up to me, I'll be tripping on my feet, trying to turn myself around. One thing I feel, let's go to the car and I'll explain my point. So, one thing I wanted to mention is you'll notice that I'm wearing sunglasses because it's crazy bright outside, but so the, uh, the RZ67 has what's called like a split level focusing system to where you have a line and you line up an item and it's much like a rangefinder. So that's one of the reasons I'm able to do that. Normally, you know, it'd be really hard to really be able to see through the viewfinder with darkened uh, eyes, I guess you could say. But, um, so yeah, that's one of the perks of that camera.
So right now we uh, we drove to Vicksburg. Vicksburg is a port city on the Mississippi River, as you can see behind me. Uh, it's flowing a lot. So we're gonna do a, we're gonna do an episode here again one day, and spend a whole day. Uh, so she she uh, said hello. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna leave and try to get back to Jackson. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you for traveling along with us through uh, Port Gibson and Vicksburg. We are now home and we're actually about to go on another photo walk that we will not film. We're just gonna try to enjoy it. So thanks for tuning in and be sure to listen to our podcast and please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. See you on the next one.